Eddie, Dan and I are all mates. We've known each other for quite a few years now. I'd been working at a local brewery and we got together and had a conversation about brewing some beer at home and uh, one thing led to another and before we knew it we were starting a brewery. Anyone who knows us knows that we don't really do things by halves and once we get an idea we run with it and within a month we, uh, we had a domain, a brewery name and ambitions to uh, open our own brewery. So we were contacted by Activision and at first we weren't really sure what to think, we kind of didn't know if it was real. And at the time I was just shaking my head thinking, oh this is spam, why didn't the spam pick it up? But it turns out they just wanted to have a chat and uh, before we knew it, one thing led to another and we agreed to brew a, brew a beer together. We obviously knew it would be the sort of beer that people would drink while playing the game, so I mean, it had to be black, obviously. But the big challenge was we're coming into an Australian summer, so this beer couldn't necessarily taste black. So we wanted that pale ale type of style, um, and Govs came up with the idea of using midnight weed in the beer to give it that black look, but with the same pale ale flavours. This midnight pale ale started where all our beers start, in my garage, um, tinkering around on some old kegs I've cut up to, to make a homebrew setup. So that's where I, I usually do my test recipes. It tastes exactly the way we hoped it would. It's um, low on roasty bitterness. It doesn't taste black. We've put it in black bottles, actually. So I would, I would guess a, a number of the punters wouldn't even know that it is black. For me, it reminds me of like a, a nice summery pale ale. You pour it into a glass and it pours almost as black as night. So it messes with your mind a little bit, kind of like the Black Ops 3 storyline. Keeping this partnership a secret was really hard for us. So we love sharing all the information about starting this brewery, every last detail from our recipes down to meeting with investors and all those calls. We share absolutely everything, that's like our thing. But this one has been under lock and key for six months and that's been really hard. I've got some good mates that are, that are really big into, into gaming. We play a lot online, so not being able to tell them has really, really eaten me up inside, but I can't wait to have a beer with them over it. Yeah, I'm a big gamer. I'm an old school gamer. I play video games for as long as I can remember. If I didn't become a brewer, I probably would have become a professional gamer, I reckon. I'd like to think that I'm a better player than Eddie, but I'm sure he has the same opinion about me. I guess he would talk himself up, but it's, it's not true. I'm definitely a better player than Govzy. It's a beer that we've had a lot of fun making. Oh, the beer's incredible. I mean, I love pale ale. It's really, it, it smells and tastes like a pale ale and looks beautiful and dark, and I think people are going to love it. It's incredible. Yeah, we, we've, we've created a product with Activision that, that we're incredibly proud of. It's amazing. Yeah.